Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So this is my pen palette. I have the titan titanium white, tallow blue, the medium red, the, uh, no, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw amber. So I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using burnt shine, you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark or if you want to have black or something like black or some or similar okay and these are my brushes I'll be using the number 12 nylon flat brush long handle number 8 nylon flat brush um, short handle I uh, know I mean long handle I also have here number 7 nylon flat brush long hand, uh, short handle and number three, nylon flat brush, short handle. I am also using number zero liner brush for the details. You can also use round brush, um, number one, double zero, triple zeros. Okay. And this is my canvas. It's 10 by 8 inches. It has three coats of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made it myself. We need water to thin the paint and water spray if we're going to need this to wet our canvas so that we, it will be easier for us to blend the colors. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to start and today I'm going to paint a panda, a portrait of a panda. And I downloaded the photo from Pixabay and it's a real, it is a realty free image. So we won't worry about copyright. Okay, so if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy guys and good luck. Okay, so first we're gonna sketch. Actually guys, um, I um, I recommend you to to, to, to do it freehand for the sketching so that you will practice um, your drawing skills. So that will be important, but if you want, I can also provide you a traceable Okay, so here I will be using the raw umber for the sketching. If you were using burnt umber, that will be okay. It's almost similar with the raw umber. Here. So we're going to sketch first the head. I'm going to add white on this to make it um, lighter gray or lighter brown or grayish brown something like that so let's do the, the head first will be a very big head of a panda this part will be the right eye and also this one will be the left eye and his nose of course here And we're going to put a black eye here, and another black eye here, black shade of, an, of his eye. Then 
there, I think. This this one will be okay. Yeah. And of course, it's eating some. What do you call this? Um. It's eating some. Bamboo. Yes, bamboo leaves. Its favorite is the bamboo leaves. I'm going to adjust a little the nose. Yeah, it should be lower. But anyway, I'm going to cover this part here with some paints later on. Dark paints, okay? So for now, we're going to sketch the best way we can. I think I'm going to adjust here a little. It should be a lot bigger. There. And I'm gonna put the leaf ear and also another ear here on the top. Okay, that's it. I'm going to cover this entire area with the color. And it'll be using again. But I think I'm going to darken first the eye so that I, I have um, a trace or I know where we're gonna put the eye, okay? so here, I'm gonna make this one darker I'm using the pure romber I think I'm gonna put the nose here, it will be lower a little. Also. There. I'm not sure if that will be the far big spot, I think it will be lower. And also this one, you need to adjust. If you are painting from freehand, you need to adjust and adjust the sketch. I think here, yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to use the row bar with some more white to make it grayish, just like what we did a while ago during the sketching, the initial sketch. So it should be gray. We're gonna fill the entire face with, we're gonna do the blackings first with the gray color, yes. Or the actually this is this color is something like a grayish brown. Yes, you heard it right. Yes, I'm not sure if I am doing the perfect um, proportion or the right proportion, not yet. So let's cover this first with the uh, with the uh, this color, okay? And if we're gonna need to spray it, we can spray it with the water. be the nose okay and the eye the teeth here yes then I'm going to put some backgrounds I'm gonna do the backgrounds first before yes I think a background but but I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some ears okay so I'm gonna use the row umber 
the pure umber. I'm gonna put some color on the ear. I'm going to do first the 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 face because we're going to put some um, details on that later. So that's why we need to let it dry. So that when we so that when we can back it's already dry, or at least a halfway. To, yeah, it's almost dry. Something like that. There you go. I'm gonna use more umber, and of course we're gonna put the the mouth here. I'm not sure if I'm doing the perfect proportion, but I think this one is good. Yes. Then it is eating some um. What do you call that? Um, bamboo tree, uh, bamboo leaves. Yes. Okay. You can, you can actually spray it with water to make it a bit. There you go. I think I'm gonna need to spray it more with water. I'm using the smaller brush, which is the number 8 flat brush. There, it is easier to, to blend when you when the surface is wet. I'll be using the bigger brush, which is the number seven flat brush, a uh, number twelve flat brush here. I'm gonna use more darker tones or darker colors so I'll be using this blue here with some red and yellow to have some power background then I'm gonna put more red for the background I'm gonna make it dark I'm gonna put more red okay guys so it doesn't matter what color you're gonna put on your background as long as it's dark or you can choose a light a lighter background it's your choice now the choice will be yours here we're gonna trim a little on this part of the face there you go so we're gonna make this dark here but this is not final yet we're gonna we're gonna put more um, layers later this is just the first coating okay that's it now we're gonna start adding some details. Okay, and I will be using a smaller brush, this is the number three flat brush. And I'm going to I'm going to mix for a more dark tone like black. So I'll be using again this raw umber with blue color to make it darker. There. So we can have now color similar to black. There. You can dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet so that it will flow freely in your canvas. Here. 
Yes, this is great. I like this color. We're gonna put the eye later, the details of the eye, but we're gonna do it later. And here, you can use the pure black if you want, but I'm still recommending you to use this raw umber. As the replacement of black, I'm going to put more. I'm going to put red in it and blue. Yes, it's darker. It's actually darker when you put red and blue. So we need to put some edges here, small edge. Okay. There. I think that will be nice. Now we're gonna put the the nose. We're gonna paint the nose here. about that yes I'm not sure if it's it's still wet okay so I'm not sure if I'm going to let it dry but I will try to Add details while it's still wet. Okay. So I think I'll be using the number seven flat brush. Yes. The number eight flat brush here. And I'll be using the the pure white. Okay, I'm gonna put a little detail. There. So, just do it slowly and carefully. There you go. So we can do it slowly to create some four like textures. There. As you see guys, I am making some for using this brush. You can actually use a smaller brush than this one. And you can still create a better result or a good result. I like the texture of this brush. It's old and I like the, the tip. You can create this um, technique. So do it slow, softly. Yes. Just do it softly.
gitu ya oke okay. do it a little slow so that the texture will be good oke okay. there so we have now the panda and here we're gonna more, add more Just do it slowly guys and a little careful okay the same technique all over again here Okay, so we're gonna try to ship for for a smaller brush, which is the number zero butt brush. I'm gonna use this one. You can mix it with a little raw umber to make it um, dirty white or not so not so light. Make sure uh, you, you add a little water in it to make it wet uh, so that it will flow freely in your canvas. Okay, so you can drag it good. And now let's put more details using this brush. I'm gonna do it one by one, slowly. There, I like it. You can see clearly the details of the hair or the fur better than the other brush we're gonna put more detail here something like this It's still wet. <laughs> so we're gonna do it little by little and slowly. Uh, maybe we should not touch in the paint because it's still wet. Here. We're gonna add more. So again, the same technique, guys. You should observe the flow of your, or the direction of the, of the hair. Oh, I mean the direction of the, what do you call this? The, the four. Okay. So here, I'm gonna. Add there 
so I'm going to continue to add more so now we're gonna put some downward strokes okay to create the details detail here it should be to the up you should put the strokes along with the edge okay 90 degrees or something like that Now we're gonna put some light color here, light details here. Or highlights, okay? So just follow what I'm doing. Sometimes it, it's hard to talk. <laughs> just like you are making some um, grasses, yes, grasses or whatever. Grasses or other plants. Okay, I think I'm gonna mix this one with a little yellowish color and red to make it a little orange. There. I'm gonna add some white. So it's now a lighter um, orange color. Let's not forget this part here. There. Okay, I'm gonna put more. I think it will really take some time just doing this job here yeah. just adding the four so all you need to do is just follow the pattern of your reference Okay. Again, guys, just follow the pattern.
there. I'll try to use a bigger brush so that it will I can finish it faster. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna use this number eight flat brush. Yeah, I think this one is will be faster and the stroke uh, I think it's smoother than the smaller one. Going to mix some grayish brown. Yes, I think I like the result here. I think this one is a little better. So I'm gonna use again a lighter color. Let's just do it slowly guys, make it soft, okay? And make sure that the, that the details of the four are still visible. They are still wet. Some parts are still wet. Okay. So what's next? I think I'm gonna do some background first before I'm gonna proceed to the to adding some more details. So uh, so that I can give time to to let it try. Yes, that will be the perfect way, the good way. Okay. So I think I'm gonna use some more brown, yellow, red, and blue. I like to have a darker background for the panda. I'm gonna put more yellow, a little yellow I mean. Or I think some green, so yellow and blue. There. So usually panda live in the forest, so it should be Darker bluish greens or whatever. Okay, so we need to retouch the edges first. <laughs> I'm going to cover some parts here. It's gonna make a background colors for a panda. So I'm gonna add some white. I'm gonna put some lighter green here. More blue and here. Okay, see here. I'm gonna add more blue. So again, whatever backgrounds you're gonna choose, that will be okay. It's your choice now. Okay. 
So I'm gonna spray it a little on the edge so that it will flow. It will cover the lighter parts. There. So now we're gonna make some color on the body of the panda. So I'll be mixing some dark tones. So here, raw umber blue and yellow and here so usually panda have black color this body So we're gonna make this part dark. And I'm going to refill some paints. There, some raw umber, okay. Gonna use some more raw umber with some blue and red. Okay, more blue to make it dark or, dark or black. So again, this part will be yeah, black. So again, guys, I'm not using black on this tutorial. I'm using raw umber only and mix it with other color like blue and red to make it dark or black or yeah, something like that. So let's make the body dark. And of course the ears of this panda. Okay, what do you think? Now we're gonna put the leaves of the bamboo, but I'm gonna add some more blue to make yes, some more blue. I don't have blue yet for the green. Okay, so I'm gonna use some blue and yellow to make some greens. There you go. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna put some bamboo in its mouth. There. These are bamboo lips, guys. Oh, in its mouth. there I 
we need to I'm going to make it a little smaller according to the proportion there so far I love it so I'm gonna let it dry first and continue adding details on the on the other parts or other on the on the floor okay so I'll be using again this number seven flat brush and the raw umber then I'm gonna put some yellow and red too there and let's make this part dark I think that's too much here and also here I'm going to put more for So you can use this brush to make some for, but you can still also you can also use the the liner brush. Here I'm gonna put more shades. There. We do one more here. Also some shades here. What I like this brush guys is that I can do bigger and smaller um, details of the four, okay? It's actually a good brush. So yeah. Can add a little details. Okay. And I'm going to mix in some pure umber and white. Here. That's it. And we're gonna put shades here. A darker shade of grey. A darker shade of grey. <laughs> Seems like a title. Okay. 
And now we're going to add some bluish tone. Yes, and white. Bluish tone will make it more gray. And let's add more shade here. On this uh, panda guys, uh, there are lots of shades like warm shades, cold shades, of white. So this bluish gray color are cold shades of white. And the yellowish tone here are the um, warm shades of white. So now I'm doing, I'm adding some bluish uh, or what's called this, um, cold shades of white. I'm adding some color sheets. You can actually make a finer details when you use a smaller brush but I think I can I can do it but I, I cannot do it at a very short time so we need more time to do what to do it so for now I'm gonna use this brush it has the same result but actually um, when you use a few uh, smaller brush you can achieve um, very nice details of the four okay this one you can still create it but actually it's your choice now this one if you want to make it faster I'm gonna add more white. I'm gonna make this part lighter. Don't worry everyone, this is still um, a cold shade. But I think we can transform this into uh, a warm shade, okay? So that's it. I can put, I will put a little uh, cold sh color shade here. Also on the on this back part. There. I 
Okay. And I think I'm gonna put some highlights using the number zero liner brush. This one. I'll be using the white here. So here, I think I'm gonna put a white highlight here. Darker or dirtier. I'm gonna put more four here, like the cat. Okay. There. And I'm gonna make it darker. So it should be the dirty, the, the color shade of white. another detail here okay how about that looks nice and I'll be using this color shade and let's paint some eye some eyes okay. still wet actually it's just some shades of Grey stone In there, <laughs> and also this one. Okay, yeah, that looks like an eye. And I'm gonna use again some bluish gray here. I'm gonna add some blue on the raw umber. And I'm gonna put some lighter shade on this dark eye here. And also on the nose, of course. gonna make that one darker okay and also this one I'm gonna put a shade here okay 
in your also shades to add more for on the black part of the eye there you go yes I think that looks nice and here we're gonna put more and also another part okay about that and gonna put a lighter highlights on the on the eye I'm gonna use a pure white this kind of float, okay. There, and also this one. Yes, that looks realistic now. And a little bit. And I'll be using more here. There. Okay. That looks nice. And now we're gonna retouch the the leaves of the bamboo. Okay, so I'll be using the number seven flat brush, yellow and blue and white. We add more blue. We're gonna put highlights on the leaves. So first, we're gonna put some little highlights. Yes, you can just have one stroke there. Just like what I'm doing there. But only it's easier to paint the bamboo leaves. It doesn't matter if it's um, not the same with the photo that you're following, as long as the 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 picture is okay and the pattern is okay, so that will be nice here. That's it. I'm gonna put more. Okay. And we're gonna put some shades. I'm gonna use the blue color. And let's put some shades here. I'm gonna blend some of the leaves, okay. By using this bluish um, shade. Yes, 
Now I'm gonna put some white to add a little reflection on the leaves. Some light reflections. And we need to blend that using this color in here. There. Yeah, that's bright now. And it looks realistic. Okay, what else? Okay. So I'm gonna use some red and white to make a pink. So we're gonna paint the. I think it's a tongue. So I'm gonna put some pink color here for the tongue. But we need to make it darker. I'm gonna use some dark color here. It's too bright. There. Yes. And I'm going to retouch that. I'll be using the number um, zero liner brush. I'm gonna, I'll be using the raw umber and I'm going to put a line here. nice and I'll be using more white some dirty white and I'm gonna add more detail like this one Yes. And I'll be using again the number seven flat brush and some um, colder color here, colder white shade. And I'm going to put some highlights here on the pandas. Yeah. Actually, you can use a, sm a, sm a smaller brush for this one, okay? It is easier than this one. So, as you observe, my brush has really bad, um, bad figure on the tip so that. That's why I'm, I can create this kind of strokes or that kind of details. Uh, so if you are an old, if you have an older brush, do not throw it away. So that and that will be good for this type of technique. Okay. There. Do not overdo it. And also on the here, this part. I'm gonna add something. <laughs> Some a little highlights and also this one just do it softly okay there I'm not sure if I am done but I think I am okay more white highlights
Okay. So, I'm not sure guys, but I think I am done. I can finally see that it is done. So yes, I think I am contented with the result. And so far, I like it. I love it. And so, I think I am done. So, okay guys. So, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. This short tutorial. I think it's just one hour. One hour and six minutes. So, I want to say thank you guys. And my advice is to keep on practicing. Keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use a brush. The more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using a limited colors in my palette. Because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you so much. Please hit like, add some comments, or subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you're painting with me now, just follow what I'm doing and have fun painting. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all.